Hi everyone, today we are going to look at how to get an equation from a table and to put a table into our Desmos calculator to help us get that equation. A lot of times students in the past have used the Inspire, but it is very easy and very intuitive to use the Desmos calculator. And This is the calculator you will get to use on the STAR test. So let's go ahead and look here where this plus sign is and we're going to put in a table. We're going to type in our x values first. One, three, five. Okay. And then we're going to go zero, negative three, negative six. Okay. Now, once we got that, you can see those three right there on your table. Wonderful. Okay. So let's go ahead and open a new line and we're going to try and get the equation of the line that goes through those three points. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your keyboard here at the bottom. Okay. And we want to type in y equals mx plus b. But notice in our table it's not x and y. They use x1 and y1. So we're going to do that too. So our equation, notice what I just did guys. I hit the ABC to go to the letter keyboard. So y, but remember we don't want y, we want y sub 1. So what we're going to do is hit y and then right here a sub b, that's how you make a subscript. And then I can just use my keyboard to type a 1. So normally it's y equals, but we don't use an equals for this. We actually use this little squiggle symbol here, the approximate symbol. And then m x but remember, it's not x, it's x sub 1, and then plus b. So it looks like y equals mx plus b, but we did have to change a few things. Once you practice it, you will get very used to it very easily, and you'll notice that the line that it creates goes through our points, our three points that we have. Over here on the left, below it, it's also given us some data. So for instance, our parameters, the m and the b, that's our slope of that line and our y-intercept. So now we can write our equation. Now on the star test, a lot of times they want the slope or y-intercept as a fraction. So I'm going to show you how to make them into fractions. I'm going to type in the slope, negative 1.5. And then see how right here on the left, this comes up? Click it and look, it makes it into a fraction for you. And I'm going to do the same thing for the y-intercept. So now I know my slope and my y-intercept, and I can go ahead and write an equation now. So my slope was negative 3 halves, and my y-intercept was positive 3 halves. So now I can write a y equals mx plus b. And there is my equation of that linear function. And I all I had to do was use my Desmos graphing calculator and type in a table and find out what the equation is. And you'll know it's correct because you can see it going through the three points that you initially plotted from your table. This is a great resource. Um, if you have any questions about how to use it, make sure to ask your teacher. If you have any questions, you could also email me if you would like. I'm Miss Janicek. I'm in room 8315. If you have any questions, let me know, guys. Have a great day.